For 80 years, MLGW has bought all of its electricity from one place, the TVA. But a new study says the utility and its customers could save as much as $300 million by getting power from alternative sources. This comes the day before city council members vote on a proposed MLGW rate increase. They have voted against it twice already. Local 24 News reporter Mike Matthews reports, new at 6. There are studies being done that show, according to the studies at least, that Memphis Light Gas and Water can save a lot of your money by getting their energy someplace else. Martavius Jones of the City Council says, don't mix that up with raising the rates right now. The Memphis City Council must decide whether to increase how much you pay for light, gas, and water services. Martavius Jones of the City Council says he's got an example of why they need the money. A Sunday night blackout he discovered when returning home. My watch said 810. The clock on my stove said 717. So at some point, my power went out. He has no idea why. All this talk of raising rates in the meantime has many questioning whether MLGW should continue to get its power from the Tennessee Valley Authority. This is a report released by an organization called Friends of the Earth. They asked a Massachusetts company to study MLGW, and the study says the company could save millions by telling TVA to hit the ROAD. According to the report, the city could develop an alternative energy supply that could generate cost savings of between 240 and 333 million dollars. Former Memphis Light Gas and Water head Herman Morris, who is now with Friends of the Earth, says Memphis has the power to become a showcase for the 21st century when it comes to energy. All of this coming on the eve of a vote by City Council on whether to raise the cost of your utilities. It's been a battle that we've been dealing with for so long. However, I think it's something that's been raising um, some good questions and uh, we're just trying to find the right answers. The discussion, though, concerning getting power from some other source, it's underway right now. And for that, Berlin Boyd says that's a good thing. In Memphis, Mike Matthews, Local 24 News.